Hey guys, I printed out a 60 inch wing and we're gonna see how the weight difference compares from a lightweight PLA, PLA and foam wing. Let's take it back to the workbench. I'll show you how I printed all these out, assemble them, we'll throw them on a scale and then uh, at the end of this video, we'll figure them out here and we'll flight test them all. Okay guys, we have the last two parts on the printer. We've got lightweight PLA printing out on the A5S. We have PLA printing out on the JG Magic. I've been printing out all the pieces just like this, same time, because uh, they're all the same pieces. And uh, they're taking about two and a half hours to print right now. Over here we've got all the rest of the pieces. We've got the PLA, lightweight PLA, and we got the foam wing. Uh, these pieces are coming out really good. All the quality is really nice in there. There's no stringing. And uh, I'm not gonna use any carbon fiber spar in either one of these wings. And there's no carbon fiber spar or wood spar in the foam wing. Uh, I just want to strictly just compare the weights and see what the weight of the weight difference is between this. Uh, as far as the wing goes on the drawing, it's a really simple uh, drawing here. Uh, the wing is really basic to build, both with foam, and so I just kept it the same with uh, the PLA uh, and then the flaps and the ailerons there. And so uh, it's the same same wing, both halves, so I can just mirror the image and glue it all together. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and glue all this together. And then once we get all this glued together, throw a couple decals on there, we're gonna sh see how much this thing weighs. As I was pulling all the pieces off the build plate, I was throwing them on the scale and checking them. There's the largest pieces here. This So this is 30 grams, and then this other piece is 56 grams. And those are the two largest pieces. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and glue all these together. I just use a one millimeter carbon rod as a alignment tool. Uh, just for between the pieces. There's no actual overlap with the pieces. They just have a little carbon rod for alignment tool and then just add CA glue and then using TPU hinges. And they'll just use nine gram servos with some extensions and a Y harness for the flaps. Okay, we have all the wings assembled, all the servos and everything's in the wings are ready to fly. Let's throw them on the scale and see what they weigh. Okay, we're at 600 grams on the PLA version. And we're at 372 for the lightweight PLA. And we're at 332 for the foam. All right, now let's take all these out to the desert and let's go test fly them. So what's your plan for today? Well, today we're going out to the desert. We're gonna do some testing. I've seen a lot of guys do some testing with uh, lightweight PLA wings, and, or lightweight PLA parts in uh, PLA. They like print out, you know, a single part, but they don't ever like test them out or take them flying and stuff so I printed off a full 60 inch wing <laughs> out of lightweight PLA and one out of PLA and then I have an identical one out of foam so we're gonna go see how they fly they fly good if they hold up and see what the weight difference does because the lightweight PLA one's only like 40 grams more than the foam wing which when you're holding them together can't hardly even tell the difference in the weight really between the lightweight PLA and the foam wing. So we'll go uh, see how they fly. And then the PLA wing is pretty heavy at 600 grams. So it's like almost doubles the weight of my plane. So we'll see if it even flies. <laughs> these, these wing designs, I actually designed the foam wing and then I drew the, uh, I drew the wing up for the PLA wing. They're identical, the inside structure of them are the same. I uh, just drew them up in uh, Fusion 360. It's really easy design of a wing. There's no dihedral uh, to the wing. The wing surface is so large, it doesn't really need a dihedral much. And I think the wing fluxes a little bit once it gets airborne, so it uh, doesn't really need a dihedral. So we're gonna go out and try it.
Okay, there is only 40 grams difference between a foam wing and a lightweight PLA wing. I can barely even tell the difference when I'm holding them up. They are so lightweight. This is awesome. We're gonna throw these on the airplane and see how they fly. Alright, we got the foam wing on. Let's try this out and fly a little bit. If you want to build your own foam timber, I'll throw a link in the description below uh, to my build video for this. I just built this out of four pieces of foam board and it flies really good. So it's a nice little beginner plane if you want to build a plane like this. Foam's wings flying really good. So this is kind of the standard that we're gonna hold the other two wings to. Everybody knows that foam is really lightweight. So this plane flies really good on this foam wing. Uh, it's like 332 grams. So we're gonna throw on the other wings and uh, we'll see how, how it flies with a little bit heavier wing on there. So let's get it on the ground and we'll throw the other wing on. Okay, next we're gonna try the PLA wing. So this wing is uh, 600 grams. So we're quite a bit heavier than the foam wing. I'm not expecting this to fly quite as good. So let's try this one out and see how it flies. All right, this will be interesting to see how this one flies. It's quite a bit heavier than the other wing, so uh, we'll see if uh, this wing flies right. Let's uh, try it. <laughs> All right, so we just retrain the servos a little bit. It's quite a bit heavier, so we gotta add a little bit of advance to the gear. See if it'll taxi a little better. <laughs> We got it up in the air. It definitely takes quite a bit, quite a bit longer to get off the ground. Oh, we got it flying on this uh, PLA wing. It's definitely uh, quite a bit heavier. You can definitely tell. Uh, ba mainly in like the ground roll, it took off. Uh, a lot longer and I can't get it to go quite as slow with that PLA wing, you know, it's adding 300 grams to the plane, so let's, uh, we'll get it on the ground and we'll try the other wing out. All right, well, after flying the PLA wing, it definitely took uh, quite a bit more ground roll to take off and uh, flew like it couldn't get it to fly quite as slow. And then when I came down to land, the, the, the rubber band, the gear wasn't quite strong enough to hold that much weight. So it kind of the gear kind of collapsed on the landing and flipped forward. So <laughs> we'll try the uh, lightweight PLA wing out now and we'll see how that flies. All 
All right, guys, we got the lightweight PLA wing on there. Uh, this is 40 grams more than the foam wing. So we were expecting this to fly this about like the same. Hell, guys, that's why you have your throttle cut on on your controller because I was sitting there talking to you guys and I bumped the throttle when I was standing there talking and the airplane started rolling. I just committed to take off and now we're flying. Took off really quick, just like the foam wing. It's just flying, just like the foam wing. It flies nice and slow and uh, really stable. Sweet, there we go, that worked really good. So that this lightweight PLA is just awesome. Uh, this is from uh, Color Fab, and uh, it's definitely well worth the money. It's only 40 grams over what that 60 inch uh, foam wing was. There's no carbon fiber spar in there. I got four nine gram servos in there. So this is at uh, 372 grams, and uh, just flies really good. So this lightweight PLA is awesome. This is gonna change the game for 3D printed airplanes. This is, this is just as light as foam. And you guys know how lightweight foam planes are. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next build.